Hi, we're at the Sun Grid Engine booth at Supercomputing 2007. And I've got a lot of great things to talk to you about. First off, Sun's got a great full HPC stack offering. Everything from the development environment, which is Sun Studio, to the Open MPI stack, which is Cluster Tool 7.1, to the workload management software, which is Sun Grid Engine. And that's what I really want to talk to you about. Got a couple of cool things to say. First of all is TAC, Texas Advanced Computing Center. They will be, when they get their uh, machines online, the biggest supercomputing system out there, clocking in at over a half petaflop. What's so cool about that? What's cool is they're running Grid Engine on it. That's over 62,000 cores in one grid. Right? How are we doing that? Well, one of the things that we've done is in our next release, Grid Engine 6.2, coming middle of next year, we have focused on a couple of things that are really important to TAC. First off, scalability. Second, scalability. Third, scalability. Right? We have spent a lot of time in making sure that Grid Engine is really going to hit those scalability numbers that TAC is going to need to keep those 62,000 cores humming. Also, we've added advanced reservation, which is a way to say, I need this time on this machine at this particular date and time. Think of it like calling ahead to a restaurant and saying, I need to use eight nodes from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. and uh, I'll have three friends with me. We've also provided multi-clustering. Yes, I did actually say multi-clustering and grid engine in the same conversation. We are putting together the ability to have grid engine move resources around from grid to grid based on workload demands. And to go with that, we've got multi-clustered accounting. So you can go to one web interface, see all of the accounting information for your entire grid, see what's going on, what mo nodes are moving where and why and when. All right, that's what's cool about Grid Engine here at Supercomputing 2007.